So we'll talk a little bit about marketing. So when I do a lot of training in this part of it, because I've got the Australian Cleaning and Restoration Academy, I do a lot of training and uh, I, I see a lot of guys who focus on products a lot or they focus on their machine a lot or they focus on getting the training to get the stain out and they don't really focus on the, on the customer. And I'm going to tell you now, 80% of the 80 to 85% of the job is actually working the customer and making sure you do that customer service component. And the customer service component for me is how you market to them, how you answer the phone, how, how, you, um, how you sell to them, how you, you, you solve their, their issues, how you um, do follow up with the customer after you finish the job at the property, uh, whether it's commercial or residential, how you follow up with them after you've come uh, after they've come back to obviously get their feedback and, and testimonials and referrals how you actually, what programs you have in place, how you do joint venturing systems with commercial clients, how you, um, how you follow them up when they're due and how you contacted them in a way that they want to be contacted. So they go, what do you mean about contacting them? I said, well, I like to be phoned. And, he, and then follow up with an email. So some people go, oh, I like to be emailed. Some customers, you like to be mailed. Some customers want to be text messaged. So how do you like to be contacted? Everyone is different. So you wanna be contacting your customers the way that they wanna be contacted. So some people don't wanna be phoned. They don't annoy me with a phone call. This is, I don't wanna to talk to you now. I wanna be emailed. So you email those customers. Oh, just send me a text and I'm fine with the text. And then follow me with an email. Sometimes it's multiple ways that they wanna be contacted. So do you have all of those things put in place? A lot of the times, you know, when I do training, I just taught a car carpet cleaning course the other day, and, you know, we actually get on the phone and ring customers. I hide my ID and be careful, I could be calling you, you know. I hide my ID and, and I start calling customers, and within the first 10 seconds, I'm getting a price. How much to clean, da 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 there's the price. And, and I don't know if you know, but a lot of, the, a lot of your customers are female um when they choose cleaning so majority i would say with 70 percent of the clients that do call up for carpet cleaning are usually female and at the end of the day i'm telling you now when they go and shop when a female goes and shops uh you don't just go give me your money and you get what you're given they actually want to know what they're going to get for their money so wouldn't it be good to educate the client on what they're going to receive and give them options what would you like? These are what this is what I can do. This is how bad it is, and ask some questions. And you know, there's ten reasons why people get their carpets cleaned. And people go, well, what are those reasons? Well, they go, I just they just want price. Do they? Well, okay, get a pad and get a pen and write these numbers down. They go, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm going to give you some prices. You know, 88, 99, 154, 132, 176, 198, 230, 210, 242, 267, 296. Hang on, what do they all mean? I said, you don't want to know what they mean. You just want, you're just ringing around getting prices. I just gave you 15 prices. Is that enough? Or do you want more prices? Oh, do you want to know what you're going to get for your money? Well, you need to understand. I need to ask you some questions to find out what you actually need. So at the end of the day, you're not really going to talk to a customer like that. But at the end of the day, that's not what they want. At the end of the day, they want to fix their problem. But what is their problem? Why did they call them in the first place? And what made them call your number? Was it something on your website? Was it a video that you had? Was it your testimonials? Was it referred from a friend or a neighbor or a relative? Why did they pick up the phone in the first place? What triggered them to call you? Was it something on their website that just jumped out at them? But what was it? So once you know that you can harness that and then obviously run through with the customer and they're gonna call you for one of these 10 reasons, you know, it's either, and it could be multiple of these reasons. It's either soiled, um, you know, or, or it's got staining or there's an odor or, um, you know, they're moving out so they have to get it cleaned or there could be from water damage, the thing, and a carpet clean might be able to fix the job. You know, they could have allergies, they're cleaning for health. They could be cleaning for appearance. They just want to make it look a little bit better. They could be cleaning because um, at the end of the day, you know, they want that clean feeling. They just bought the house. They, they, they want to come in and, and clean it up and, and they want to physically see you cleaning it, you know, so it, it, it physically looks better. They might be cleaning for maintenance because it's just due to be cleaned. So there's many, many, many of those reasons why 
you know, they could be having a special occasion, um, you know, whether, hey, we've got a wedding reception here, we need it done on this date. So you need to work out why they picked up the phone in the first place. And then once you can harness what they want, then you can know how to give them service. So a lot of the times these guys, oh, I'm struggling with the price on this and this and that. I said, well, what do they want? Well, I don't know. You're not asking the right questions. So, uh, you know, that's some great little tips there on, you know, what to look for. But then you've got to have these programs to come back to. You've got to have, you know, a good feedback program. So, you know, well, what am I lacking? You know, when I, when, when I used to advertise and we used to pick up the phone, we'd, we'd go, what did you, what made you trigger to call us? I looked at your website. Okay, but what part of our website triggered? I loved your guarantee. Okay, so we emphasize about our guarantee. I loved your information about your consumer guide on there for carpet cleaning where you had all these uh, things on how to choose a professional cleanup. Great. Okay, what else did you, you know, I've got guys, I loved your testimonials. I read your testimonials. I loved your video testimonials. Okay, so then you can start to work out what's working for you rather than not what's working for you. So let's see if we can open up to any more questions that people might have on this area. Wow, that's a big question. What's the best way to answer the call from a customer? Well, at the end of the day, I like to say, um, we'll say ABC carpet cleaning, we'll just come up with it. Welcome to ABC services, this is Gary. So the last thing I wanna say is my name. I don't wanna say Gary speaking. I say, are you speaking? Yeah, I didn't know you were speaking. Of course you know I'm speaking. You heard the words come out of my mouth. Why do you want to tell someone you're speaking? The, the last thing they remember, when I've done my memory course, I feel the last thing they remember, you can tell them big sentence. And I'm going to tell you, the last component of whatever you tell the story is usually what people remember the most. The first and the last bit. So what you want to say is the welcome bit, and this is Gary. So once, once I finish with that, I'll say, oh, yeah, how are you going? I'm looking for a price for the color thing. Oh, okay, whereabouts are you located? And how did you find out about us? And then we can harness on how to find out about us. Oh, I found you on Google. Okay, what part of our website did you like the most? I like this, then I'll overemphasize on that. So it keeps going from the where the direction of the phone call goes. And then I'd try to say, well, look, you know, it comes down to these six things, these six rules. So at the end of the day, if I'm looking for um, a professional carpet cleaner, I'm gonna, I, I wanna do these six things involved in my phone call. I want to explain my service guarantee. I want to explain where my training and education is, and but why I'm trained through the Australian Cleaning Restoration Academy. Whoop de doo. I'm trained because I can identify all the different types of carpet and fabric fibers, know how to clean them correctly, and do expert stone removal treatments. So you tell them why you've got this training certification. And then it comes down from training, you know, you, you've got your equipment. You know, if you've got a busted old machine that's fallen down 30 flights of stairs, you probably don't want to tell anyone about it. But if you've got $60,000 worth of gear set up in your truck, you probably want to tell people how good that stuff is. And, and, and But you know, oh, I've got a big machine, what do you do again? Why do you have that big machine? More heat, more extraction power, cleaner and drier carpets and fabrics. So you want to tell them the benefits. And then you want to tell them step-by-step -step service and every step of your service that you do, you want to show it, throw in two positives that you do. So, you know, if you're doing a dry pad finish of the carpets afterwards, and we rotary dry pad and it picks up extra soiling, leaves the carpet 20% brighter and leaves it at least 50% drier, touch dry, ready to walk on. So you, there might be two positives in each statement that you make on each step. And then you want to give them options on your steps and you want to gain their trust in the phone call. But you want to also find out what the problem was in the first place. Why did they call? Because they didn't call to get a price. They called to fix a problem. But what is the problem? And usually people that keep going on the have tos. So if you've, anyone's got children, you say, I want you to clean your room and they've got a messy room. They go in, they go, mum's not watching. Dad's not watching. I'm just gonna shovel this crap underneath the bed, throw it in the closet, shut the door. Because they don't want to do it. And so if you say to somebody, oh yeah, um, I'm moving out. Yes, I'm moving out of my place. Oh my God, I can't wait to get the carpet guy out. And he's gonna clean the carpets and it's gonna be fantastic. No one does that. They don't want you there. Because they don't want you there, they don't want to put a big effort into it. And if they don't want to put a big effort into it, they don't want to pay a lot of money. So, but end of the day, people market to get those people. And I don't get it. I want to market to the people that want it done properly, not to those empty move out people that don't want to pay. Because they're the have tos. They're not, not, not the want tos. You know, they, they don't really want to get it clean. You want Mrs. Jones that gets her carpets cleaned every year. You want Mrs. Jones to refer you to her three neighbors and relatives and get, be like a cheerleader customer and just tell everyone how wonderful you are. 
that's the sort of customers you're looking for. Well, that's a bit of a snippet about what I do with the carbon clean side of things. So it's not just about a product. You can see how I'm different. At the end of the day, there's a lot of people selling product, but there's no one that's, you know, had a big carpet cleaning restoration business. At one point, our carpet cleaning division was about 1.8 million just in carpet upholstery and hard floor. So at the end of the day, we've done the hard yards. So we know day in, day out, the information on these products, on how they work. And I've used these products, so I've got backing behind them. So that's why these two companies, the Australian Cleaning and Restoration Academy and the Restore Solutions can integrate together. We've got a lot of online training regarding this. We've got, we've got a lot of webinars. If you go to the Australian uh, Cleaning and Restoration Academy website, Australian Cleaning and Restoration Academy website, you've, we've got a lot of webinars and there's going to be more webinars coming on all of this information that you train you and your staff. So, you know, where if from how to answer the phone to how to market to the right customers to how to quote on the job, and it's all visual for you guys to understand what to do. From the Stone River to the Stone River rules, there's going to be hands on, there's going to be everything that you want in all one hour blocks. Okay, so thanks very much for your time listening about our carpets and upholstery cleaning side of things, and uh, we hope to uh, see you guys in the future. Thanks for watching.